CarsonSafety.com. Today we're going to be doing an installation of a Guardian G-Bolt portable concrete anchorage connector. They come in two different sizes. One is rated for 5,000 pounds, one is rated for 10,000 pounds. The 5,000 pound anchor, you can actually drill the hole, put it in one person per anchor point on this one here. If you're using the 10,000 pound anchorage point, you're going to be able to drill your hole to the specified depth and diameter, which we will go through and do. And then after you put your anchor in here, you would be able to go to another part of the building as long as it's within the, the spec for doing a horizontal lifeline. Drill a hole, put another one of the 10,000 pound uh, G bolt anchorage connector, and then you can run a horizontal lifeline in between. And that way you can have two people hooked onto it. What we're going to be doing is today we're going to be installing the one inch rated for 10,000 pounds and we're going to be using a concrete block that's at least a minimum of 3,000 PSI. We're going to be using the Makita one inch rotor hammer SDS drill bit and we're going to be using the Makita HR 2811F uh, rotor hammer. Before you start to drill, you want to make sure that you take the appropriate measures for safety. We'll always wear your safety glasses. Make sure that your hammer is in rotor hammer, not just in hammer. And you're going to drill your hole to the specified depth. That was really good. Nice tool. All right, now once you get your hole drilled, you're going to go in, clean out the hole as if you were doing it for like epoxy to make sure that you get a little bit of the dust out. After you have your hole drilled, you want to take a, a bulb or uh, some type of maybe a vacuum and clean out the hole just to get some of the dust out. You just go in there and blow it out to get all the extra dust out of there. Before you use your, your anchor, you want to make sure that you do a full inspection. You're going to check to make sure that there's no cracks, rust, bends, any of the cable is not fraying, and make sure it's in perfect mechanical working condition. After you get that fully inspected, you're going to go and blow out the hole with the bulb, and then you're ready for installation. It's that simple. You want to make sure before you use this anchor that you go and read the, the full installation instructions by the manufacturer to ensure that you're using this in the manner that it was made for. Okay, so this right here is going to tell us that it is made the one inch, the one inch anchor. You have to drill a one inch diameter hole at least a minimum of four and a half inches deep. 